Virtually every well drilled requires casing and cement. Casing is steel pipe that the crew puts into the well bore. The casing prevents the hole from caving in and seals off formations. To do its job though, the casing has to be cemented in place. A cement crew pumps cement down inside the casing and up the annulus. The cement hardens or sets to hold the casing in place. Casing is steel pipe that comes to the rig in individual joints. A casing crew couples the joints together to run them into the well bore. Casing comes in three ranges of length. Range 1 is 16 to 25 feet, or 4.88 to 7.62 meters long. Range 2 is 25 to 34 feet, or 7.62 to 10.36 meters long. Range 3 is 34 to 48 feet, or 10.36 to 14.63 meters long. The length used depends on the well owner's requirement and the physical requirements of the well. Casing also comes in different grades or strengths. Which strength is used depends on the well's characteristics. To run the casing, the crew joins the joints with threaded connections called couplings or collars. Do not confuse casing collars with drill collars. Casing collars are couplings. They use special heavy-duty elevators and large casing slips, called spiders. They make up the casing joints with multi-speed power casing tongs. Power casing tongs not only screw the threaded connections together, but also torque them to the correct amount 